Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we did Raul's old quest, we did Black Mountain, we did Crazy Crazy Crazy, we helped out the Brotherhood of Steel, we are now officially technically a paladin. Um, the most, and then, you know, <laughs> Elder McNamara asks us to always act in the Brotherhood's best intentions, we're gonna get Helios 1 going. Um, obviously Helios 1 was once in possession by the Brotherhood of Steel, obviously before the events of Fallout New Vegas. Um, now the NCR has it here. We don't really have any NCR clout. Um, to justify us being able to go in here. We'll see if we will make it work anyway. Maybe we'll do Helios one, maybe we won't. Hello there. This is a restricted area. State your business. Uh, our NCR rep? Apparently I have enough. Maybe I do? I'm with the NCR. Anything I can do to help? You being here is a start, soldier. We aren't exactly overflowing with troopers That here. lucky old son. But if you really want to help us, talk to the idiot with sunglasses in the back of the plant building. He's been trying to get this place running for months and hasn't made any forward progress. Uh, shouldn't there be more people defending a power plant? There should, but we're not getting much power out of it, so none of our enemies have big interest in it either. Not like Hoover Dam, anyway. We had a real fighting force here just long enough to take it from the Brotherhood of Steel. Then they got sent east to the dam like everybody else. Everybody worried about the goddamn Caesar's dam. Caesar's Legion sends skirmishers every so often, prodding for weaknesses mostly. The reality is, if they really wanted it, we'd all be dead. Why was the Brotherhood of Steel here? Damned if I know. Put up a hell of a fight, though. We had them outnumbered, I don't know, 20 to 1, maybe? That'd have been a hell of a fight. I wish could. I could see it. Lost most of their force before they retreated. Gave us a little parting gift, too. They had some of the plant running, but they shut it all down. Enabled an old security system, too, to keep us away from the controls. Jerk-offs. Fucking jerk-off, Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. We're gonna go talk to one of the greatest NPCs in, um... In Fallen New Vegas. One of the greatest. Mr. Fantastic himself. So, here we are. Either this one. Pretty chill. They're guarding it. You know, there's some things around here. Um, the three eye rounds are, you know, there. It's also very dark in here. Um, more three eye rounds. In case you're, like, doing a sniper build, pulse grenades, obviously very important. We're going to be dealing with robots. The security, I, I thought about this. This place is off limits to civilians. You don't like it, take it up with Lieutenant. Uh, I'm allowed to be here. Motherfucker. Eat shit. Um, we're going to go around here. There's like a lot of passing. There's a poppers. Hello, poppers. It's not really doing too great. Um, you know, the NCR doesn't keep their dogs in good conditions. They can do enough shit to keep people taxed out the ass, but they can't keep their puppers from not being all scratched up. Piece of shit, NCR. Clearly the bad guys of the video <laughs> game. I'm talking shit, right? They're like, I mean, I know a lot of people think the you know NCR is not necessarily the good guys, but not it's not the way we're going to in the game either, though. So we're going to go in here. No, they're not in here. I get lost as fucking Helios one. Is this way? It's this way. Where the marker goes, stupid ass. Self? I'm talking to myself. You know, I could call myself a stupid ass, I think. That's allowed. There's some glasses here, I guess, in case you really need some glass. I don't know. Took the four eyes part. Or a trait. Mr. Fantastic, hello. Who the hell are you? They bring you in to replace me? They're replacing me, aren't they? <laughs> That's right, I'm here for your job. Ah, shit. Shit, man. I need this. Gotta pay the bills. And I'm addicted to a lot of different kinds of chems. I mean a lot. <laughs> so, so, I love this. I love this. Um, with a speech 25, which is not even that high. Because it's Mr. Fantastic. He doesn't need to be convinced that hard. You pay me a stack of caps right now and I'll forget you have my job. Aw, oh, man. How am I supposed to buy chems now? Fine. Here. You can't buy chems now. I have saved your life. Um, what do you do here? What else? I'm in charge. This whole operation depends on me. No fantastic, no power. Got the whole NCR suckling my teats. And it feels so good. What are you trying to accomplish? Well, see, we're getting power because the guy running this place is fantastic. But the mirrors outside aren't aimed right. So we're running at 1% efficiency. And I guess that just isn't good enough for some assholes. Trouble is, most of the controls for this place aren't here. They're in the tower. And that place has some crazy pre-war security system that the dumb shit NCR set off when they took over. Killed two guys. Now they won't go near it. They want me to make an omelet, but I can't break any of their eggs. Know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Um, how would someone retarget the mirrors, though? How could I fucking fix your fucking issues for you? There's these two terminals outside. They control the mirrors. I tried fooling with them, but didn't get very far. You'd have to get them to talk to the mainframe up in the tower, then do the rest from up there. 
I'm guessing, but it sounds good, right? Hey, you're not thinking about going up there, are you? I am now. Well, hey, if you find yourself up at the mainframe, do yourself a favor and make sure you send the power to the right place. It needs to go to the Strip and McCarran. Why should the power go to the Strip and McCarran? Because I get paid, that's why. Per kilowatt hour. Whatever the hell that is. That's where the NCR wants the power, so that's where I want it. But you know, you do that, maybe I put in a good word for you with them. Fantastic's little helper. There's a reputation you can hang your hat on. You're so full of yourself. Why are you worried about being replaced? Worried? Do I look worried to you? I've got this under control, baby. No one else can do what I do here. What exactly do you do? Fuck, man. Everything. I push buttons. I turn dials. I read numbers. Sometimes I make up little stories in my head about what the numbers mean. Like one time I imagined they were a code to get into a vault full of naked women. Man, how cool would that be? Until they ate you or some other crazy ass shit. It's a vault experiment. If they're naked, it's probably because of like the sirens or something. Um, you have no idea what you're doing, do you? No, man. I know exactly what I'm doing. I just don't know what effect it's going to have. Over there, controls power in this building. That station has readouts on the computer network. That big knob there makes a crazy noise. Uh, sparks come out of that slot if you put stuff in it. And I'm learning more every day. This is the stupidest piece of shit. How'd you get this job? It was easy, man. They were going door to door asking if anyone knew any scientists. I said look no further. They asked me if I knew anything about power plants. I said as much as anyone I had ever met. They asked me how well I understood theoretical physics. I said I had a theoretical degree in physics. They said, welcome aboard. It's the greatest line of all time. I mean, it's so good. The theoretical degree in physics. You're such an Here, incompetent. You want this. It's the password to one of the terminals outside. Found it written on one of the stalls in the bathroom. Thanks for that. One password complete. There's another person here, a follower of the apocalypse. Um, doctors, Ignacio Rivas. Rivas. I've talked more. It's unusual to see a new face here. Are you a soldier or a scientist? Kind of both. Um, my interest in this place is scientific is the thing you want to say, though. Then we have that in common. Whom do you typically work with? <laughs> Speech of 35. This is your turf. For all I know, you could have killed me with for my allegiance. Who are you with? Very well. Yes. I'm part of the followers of the apocalypse. If you're not familiar, we seek peace and the spread of knowledge. Knowledge that must never be lost to the world. Now your turn. And then, you know, we could say the Brotherhood. My only true allegiance is to myself. He doesn't really like that. The NCR or whatever, right? I just do whatever is necessary to keep the peace, but I'm with you. I want what you want. We just convince people of that without even a speech check. That's reassuring. Although many who've made that claim to the followers of the Apocalypse over the years have had less than pure intentions. But if it's really as you say, then take my advice. This installation carries with it dangers that no one here has realized. Take care of what you do here who you listen to. Some things are best left buried with the old world. What's more to this place than the power plant? I don't entirely know. Our records on the company that built this place suggest that their dealings were not only in energy, but also in weapons. And I've seen equipment here marked with symbols used by the pre-war military. Targeting computers, shock sensors. A code word comes up repeatedly in the papers I've looked through here. Archimedes. It's a weapon. You think Archimedes is a weapon they built here? Yes. And the technology they have in this facility is like nothing I've seen. Some of it reminds me of Enclave equipment, but more advanced. A weapon based upon it would be catastrophic, no matter who claimed it. Me. It's no wonder the Brotherhood wouldn't give it up. The Brotherhood of Seal knew about Archimedes? They weren't here for me to ask, but I doubt they were here for electricity. When the NCR first came here, it was under Brotherhood control. They usually stared clear of one another, but something here changed their minds. The Brotherhood's interest in pre-war technology has always been in weapons. It's likely they were trying to reclaim Archimedes when the NCR arrived. The NCR asked me to help increase the power plant's output. Then I would say do it. As long as the power of this plant is committed to the regional grid and not to a weapon, we are safe. If you're the one to restore output, then you can route the power where you choose, and they'll never be the wiser. I can't get you past the security in the tower, but I can be of some help. I've discovered a password for one of the mirror control terminals outside. You'll need it. Okay. Where should I route the power? Where do you think? Oh. The NCR has their own designs for it, no doubt. 
but resists the urge to send it only to the thriving communities. The need for power is great everywhere. Distributing it evenly is the most rational and humane choice. All right, sounds good. Uh, goodbye for now. Now, the decision to be made of where we route the power is the big one here, right? Do we give it to just the NCR, the places the NCR wants us to give it to? Do we give it to the places that, you know, everywhere, like the followers of the apocalypse do? We have some choices to be made, right? Or do we power the weapon? Now, I haven't powered the weapon in a long time, and that's a big temptation for me. There's a lot of mines here and traps and stuff, but we don't even have to worry about that. Look how much faster we get. Look, bear trap. Ha ha ha, bitch ass bear trap. Um, <laughs> can't do nothing to me. <laughs> Reset the mainframe connection, right? Boom. Easy peasy. Um, we'd also have to come here to get some of the parts of the solar panels if we needed to do that for the boomers, but we don't because we had enough repair skill. This is we're gonna kind of fly through this. If you come, you can come here fairly early on in the game, but we, thankfully, have not come here very early in the game. But that is gonna make some problems. There's doggos in here now. These dogs are hostile regardless of what you do. There's nothing that technically labels NCR dogs. Um, all right, miss, you're gonna convince me of that. Another one in there. See it? It's freaking out. Can't cheese it through the wall though, probably. See, it's, it's technically labeled as an NCR god dog, even in his name. Get that nice slow mo reload just because. Um, whatever. We, we have to kill him. I mean, I could let them bite my ankles to death, I guess, but we're going to kill them. So we get the fuck out of here. Now, we're going to the Helos 1 mainframe and to the power to the destination of your choosing. Now, could we power the weapon? Should we power the weapon? This is, these are good. These are good questions. I believe we got to go in this door here. Yeah. Now this is gonna be nasty as it is anyway. Helios One has got some nasty shit in it, for sure. Robots out the ass. So we'll see how we, well we can make this work. Now there's a turret right in there too. So if we quickly get across here, we're sneaky enough. Oh my god, actually sneaky enough. There's also mines in here. These are live armed mag, <laughs> mags, mines. Um, but we don't have to deal with any of that. And then we can go in this terminal here. And we can hack this. Um, bowels. Bowls. It's bowls? I, just, I don't know why I said bowels, you guys. <laughs> okay? Sometimes my brain is dumb. Enters! Enters is the password to enter. Look at it. It's like open sesame. Okay. What we could do here, though, is we can reconfigure the targeting system to have no targeting data, which means that the turret is going to start shooting at the robots for us. There's another mine right here. It's like two of them right here. Like, you get blown the fuck up usually at this stage of the game. I don't get blown up, though. Not me. No, not me. I did not get blown up. Now, the, the turret is probably dead, to be fair. It probably died to the robots. That's usually how it goes. Especially because the robots are going to be bigger and badder. In this case, sentry bots. If we can one-shot sneak attack a, a sentry bot, I think we're doing just fucking fine, though, really. Right? Sentry bots are nasty. And usually it's like Mr. Gutsy's, which is still pretty nasty earlier on in the game. Um, but sentry bots are still not really fun to play with. The turret didn't even do anything. We, we really, all we caused was the... We got the sentry bot to kill the turret for us. Which is still good. I mean... It took three shots, but it's still dead. So, we'll call that a victory. For me. I mean, it didn't hit me, right? That, that counts for a lot, in my opinion. Is there a chemistry check we can actually activate here? Or? No. Sometimes they're interactable, right? And you can craft some stim packs. Um, there's a safe in here. We'll crack the safe. It's some experience points. Like, we're gonna... I mean... I promise you this is hard. <laughs> it's not going to be hard for me. Nothing's going to be hard for me. I thought about it. Like, I thought about doing um, Red Lucy's quest to get all them eggs. That would be hard. Um, eventually. Not at the beginning. It'd be hard eventually. And eventually we are going to do that. But I'm even waiting to get even higher level than I am now for that. Um, because I'm a terrified little baby. Terrified. Someone in the comments is now going to try to, like, provoke me. And be like, little chicken ass bitch. Why don't you fight... The death claws. It's like, cause they're death claws. Okay, go through this door here. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there's another. I mean, it's probably gonna be a sentry bot at this point. I hear it wheeling around. Now we do have all these pulse grenades. I suppose we could use the pulse grenades, right? We have a bunch of them. Don't we have the Gauss rifle? I forgot we even had the Gauss rifle. We just got that last time. We just kind of huck that in there. Huck another one in there. Caution still, not dangerous. Huck another one in there, apparently. These aren't really going to do damage to me, so... 
I critted with a grenade, which is pretty cool. It's dead, see? Not a problem at all. Get fucked. Like, actually fucked. Like, <laughs> couldn't do nothing. Couldn't figure out how to make it around the corner. So you die now. It's, it's all me, baby, okay? Safety safe. Tearing the little grenades around. Here we go. Open the door. Now, is there more shit in here? I'm trying to remember out the process of all these things. We do have to go downstairs here. There's usually there's... That's the wrong button. There is, oh, it's a gutsy stone, huh? That's not too bad. Why don't you eat that, bud? Or that one. Or that one. I think I just beat myself up. I mean, like I said, these only do damage to robots, though, so there's not really a concern to be had here. I want that to hit, please. Kind of in an awkward, awkward spot. I'm hitting it, though, I think. It's not like I'm using the pulse grenades for anything else. I think I killed the one robot there. The one that's in this room. There's more red pips, but it's just because we're high perceptive. High perception. Not like I am in real life. And apparently, I have low charisma in real life cause, or, and intelligence because I can't speak worth this shit. Yeah, all the other ones are through the door. Not concerning. Look how fucking fast we move. You guys, it's really a deal. I probably should not have fallen down here. This is like a real easy place to seemingly get trapped, huh? Oh shit, the jump button is kind of hard. Is there not a way to. I mean, I guess I can kind of act time through that. It's fine. The game has accounted for the fact that you might get stuck. What did you have, Mr. Gutsy? Nothing of importance. Nothing important at all. Okay, we are fine. More robots to deal with, though, but, you know, pulse grenades. And we pulse mines. Now. If I remember right, there's a way to go over here to the right. Or we can skip a lot of this bullshit. <laughs> like, we just don't have to fight nothing. And there's no reason to. There's no actual benefit. I mean, I guess some experience points. But, average locked door. Now, that's that's not extremely prohibitive if you kind of spec into that. If you come in here, you know, as early as you can go to heal this one. If you haven't, you know, I've gone to Vegas already. I've gone to two DLCs. I've kind of done the thing. Um, so, you know, lock picking of 50 isn't really a problem. I mean, I've almost all my skills maxed out in total. Buffalo Gourd Seeds. So we can skip a lot of the stuff that way. Now, this is the power room right here. Um, this generator is broken. And one piece of scrap metal, huh? We need one piece of scrap metal to fix it. I forgot that we needed that. Because we could have easily grabbed that back there. I'm just dumb. Um, there's other ways to handle it, too. I'll probably put the pulse grenades away. Don't really need them right now. So if we go to this mainframe, it doesn't have any power. We can repair the generator through a couple different methods. Um, but I just need one one scrap metal. I think we can go back and get it, to be fair. This is going to be my strategy. Right? Like, because I'm really good at repair. The fact that I forgot I forgot the scrap metal thing, so. Look at all these pulse grenades here. These protectrons here. You didn't die to one fucking pulse grenade? Why, why are you like that? Two? Three? Really? I mean, I'll put it right at your feet. Dead, now it's dead. Okay. And they have one scrap metal on it. So yeah, that's all I needed. See you guys later. <laughs> Motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm out, dude. I'm not I'm not playing no games with you. I just wanted the one scrap metal. Technically I could have gone even further back and got it from the gutsy or whatever and not engage in any more combat. But I could just that works out fine. Okay? So repair the wire. Scrap metal removed, the power plant is repaired. So now our choices. We can read about Archimedes testing, right? Uh, we can figure the power grid. So we have choices here. Okay, we can get the power to Fremont and West Side. So like the outer Vegas area, we can give it to the McCarran and the Strip, um, which will allow us to, you know, give it to the NCR and you know the Strip, which is what the N this is what the NCR wants us to do. This is not what they want us to do. Full region is the best thing to do, but we're gonna do Archimedes too. Um. Yeah, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna arc. We're gonna get Archimedes too, the weapon. Cause this, I mean, I haven't done it in a long time. Why not? If you can't get that um, going with the you know, repair and scrap, you can do like a robot up here. There's like this one, I think, that you can reactivate um, with science. So you know, different choices for different things. We're gonna go turn Archimedes on. It's not really gonna. I mean, they're gonna. It's gonna be the weapon. They're gonna be kind of mad that I did that, but you know, fuck them. It also has to be the daytime, and it's also going to get very bright on your screen. It's a forewarning right now to be prepared for that. I, I just want to get the weapon, just because, I mean, it's an energy weapon build. Archimedes is kind of an energy weapon, if you want to think about it like that. So I'm getting it for myself. I cannot wait in the air. I was apparently in the air, um, like, ten hours. Just, you just got to make it, you know, the sun is out type of shit, obviously, for the solar panels to all get set up. And then we're going to turn it on. 
We'll see how it goes. Um, it's gonna get real bright. Right? No? Oh, it is about to get real bright. I'm gonna look away. You guys can see if you want to. I will know when it's done when it's done. With the noise and stop. But I'm not looking at my screen right now. I think it's off. It's covering my eyes. It's fucking extremely dumb. I mean, it makes sense. Obviously, we're getting hit. I mean, I don't know why we're not getting fried. Ah. Uh, I look too soon. <laughs> I look too soon. So we can get back down. The easiest way to get back down, actually, is to just fast travel back down to Helios 1. Like, we don't have to go back through all the bullshit then, right? And then technically there's a side way, I believe, to go around from the outside here that will take us right to where we need to go. It technically wants us to go through that door, but we can go around here. I mean, technically, I believe, actually, this door is lockpicked, right? Like, it's, it's locked. And it's red, but no one is seeing us. So, I guess this isn't really any faster than that. I lost karma for that. Because I broke in. What a stupid ass thing that is. Which one's... This is the lair. That's the one I want. Alright. Hi, you guys. I, I broke into your shit, even though I'm allowed to be here. Now, Ignacio is not going to be happy with us, because he's, like, not the weapon. But we're going to... It's fine. It's fine. We'll just talk to him about it. And then we have to actually go get the weapon. Now, I have to remember exactly how to do that. But, you know, I think that's the way that I want to do things this time. It's not the best choice. It's not good for necessarily anybody but me. But, you know. Fuck him. Fuck him, fight him. It's all the same, right? Like, it's... Hello, Ignacio. What can I help you with? Um, I delivered power to the grid. I saw that on the monitors here. It's strange, but I can't find where on the grid the power is being sent to. Nevertheless, hopefully the NCR's curiosity is satisfied now that the plant's output is improved. Here, accept these for your efforts. So, we completed the quest. That lucky old son complete. We get two stim packs, a doctor's bag. We get followers of the Apocalypse fan because they think that we did what they wanted to do. They can't prove that I did it any other way. Um, so, yeah. Lucky old son. Done. We, we increased the power plant's output. Now I gotta go find the weapon, actually. I gotta remember how to do this. I know it's a free side. I'm gonna look into it a little bit real quick just to remind myself how to do that. And I will see you guys in just a little bit. Alright, everybody. I made sure. It's a little kid. Um, I just want to make sure it was location because I get really lost in free side. We are here at free side. It's supposed to be he's running around outside Mick and Ralph, so we'll find him. Guy selling meat, how you doing? Uh, this is this has been really quick. I thought that it was going to take longer to do that lucky old son, um, to be fair. I thought the sentry bots were going to give us a little more trouble than they did. They did not, because I'm just too fucking good at the video game. So obviously we're going to do some more quests as we're here. We have the kings to do. We could do Rex. Ooh, the puppers, though. Well, we have to do the king's quest in the meantime, but like... That's a lot of walking and talking. Um, so I believe Mick and Ralphs is over here. We're about to get jumped. Is Mick and Ralphs over? I don't see that. I get real lost. What is this guy chasing? What are we doing? Hello? Shots happening. This is Mick and Ralphs. I was right. Like this is, I just went to the wrong gate. Who are we shooting? Are everybody okay? Chilling. Now, somebody walked through the gate. Now, I'm looking for a child. Okay? Now, it's daytime. They should be kind of out and about, you'd think. This is where they go to sleep at. I remember that. I just had to remember, like, where they are. They're supposed to be running around here somewhere? Now, do I see them? No. Um, please? Did, please? I mean, we could wait till nighttime, and then we could, we could jump them in their bed. But that's not, you know, like, that's kind of weird. That's a weird vibe. The kid is not here. I mean, there's a dead freeside gun. Maybe that's what I'm... I'm thinking the problem that we have caused here is that, like, there was a bad person around, and it kind of caused the, the kid NPCs to freak out. Now, we'll see here. Oh, is this guy. We could, Rockface? Yes. He'll give you, like, little tips for money. This is a fun little thing. Hey, buddy. Spare a cap? Here you go. The first thing you should know is that Freeside is run by a pack of yahoos that call themselves the Kings. Their leader, who oddly enough calls himself the King, currently has his hands full trying to prevent an all-out riot in Freeside. That's two tips, but what the hell? You're a new customer, so the extra one's on me. Wanna hear another? Uh, maybe another time. But we could, I mean, you could keep giving him caps, and then he'll keep telling you things. I don't know where the fucking children have gone. 
Um, lots of things to do, but where the fuck are the children? They're supposed to be around here playing, but they're not. It has to be concerned that I'm not going to get the weapon. Um, please, children, exist. I mean, I, we could wait longer, too, I guess, but... Or reset the cell by leaving it and re-entering it. The kids are around here playing somewhere, generally, but they're not today. Why? Children. This quest always breaks for me. Maybe that's why I haven't done the weapon in a long time. I would like the weapon. I would like to show it off just because it's a very fucking cool thing that I don't think a lot of people do because, you know, a lot of people just divert the power like, you know, they're supposed to. There seems like there's people over here, right? Like, there's this guy. We'll get to you. Yeah, that's the intelligence of one guy. I remember you. Um, the kid's over here. There's a person over here, but this is definitely not a kid. These are just people. Where the fuck the kid's at? Oh yeah, this guy. We'll do this guy over here too. This is fun. I mean, I forgot free side stuff. Just random shit. This guy runs off. He was like, what are you, like... I remember this quest. <laughs> it's not a quest. It's like an unmarked thing. This is a little thing. Hello. Check it out. Between the dumpsters What's there. What's in between the dumpsters then? Is that a friend of yours? Nah, just some idiot that wandered down the wrong alley. Sound familiar? Stupid ass. Over here! He's gonna literally come out with a knife. He's got friends too. Is that working out for you? You just don't come? You still coming to me with your sledgehammer? You thought that was a good idea? God damn. I remember this. That's so fucking great. I love that. It's a dumb ass. They killed somebody, but like, you know, by baiting him down in the alley and then jumping his ass. But, you know, they tried to do that to me. That was a dumb decision on your motherfucker's part. <laughs> you don't see me with my little glowing halo? Like, it's just like I'm literally God compared to you, okay? Like, I am God. Where the fuck the kids at, though? That's my question. Hello, children? I really hope that they spawn in at some point. We'll, we'll, we'll reset the cell. Um, hopefully that'll help. Go back out. Hello, Outer Vegas. Go back in. Reset the cell. Kids? Kids? They're usually just right here playing in the street. I mean, maybe we could wait till nighttime when they're sleeping. That maybe that'll do. I mean, I don't want to do it that way necessarily, but here we are. All right? Like, I'm trying to just wait for the kids to show up. I'm trying to show off the cool weapon. Um, now they should be up here in their beds, right? Hey there. They are. Um, there's Stacy and there's Max here. Max is the one we want to talk to. We can wake him up because we're going to talk to him. Technically, you could pickpocket and all the things. I'm not doing that, okay? It's a kid. Reach for the sky, lady. Don't pull that trigger on that gun. Um, can I buy that gun from you? This is the best gun in the whole galaxy. I paid a million caps for it, and it wasn't even brand new. With Barter, we can give him 20 caps. I'm going to give him 1,000 caps because I don't really care about the money. And it's a kid. He's going to be so baller with 1,000 caps. You mean it? Wow. Thanks. I bet me and Stacy can get something real cool at Mick and Ralph's with that. Yeah, dude, you just, you live your life, man. You live better than in a fucking bed in the fucking open space, man. But that gives us the tool that we have needed. This is Uly uh, Ulysses. Yeah, Ulysses. That's how we say that word. Ulysses Sea Finder. Once a day, we get a charge on this thing. Now, I don't even know what the fuck I'm going to shoot it with, uh, but I, I do want to show it off. We're going to do it at nighttime, too, hopefully. Let me think, where can I go nearby It's gonna have something worth shooting with this thing? Now, it's not the most accurate, most, you know, weapon to use, to be fair. Actually, I'm trying to think, I mean, what else are we gonna do next, right? I'm fucking, like, looking around, like, so many things to do. Um, Vault 3, I mean, obviously we can go kill these motherfucker fiends all over that bitch. Today we go Good Spring Cemetery and go north. Um, or Gene Skydiving, I work our way up, kill a death cloud in that area. Uh, <laughs> Camp Fall on Hope, we do have to get to. That's an important thing. We're eventually going to do um, Restoring Hope. Is that the name of that quest? I forget if that's the name of the quest. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that today. Maybe we could start it today. Um, oh yeah, we have like a whole area down here that we haven't really got. We got a lot of shit, dude. Putting that energy out there, a lot of shit to do. I'm just thinking so much about where to go. And we go to Recon Headquarters and then start going up, like, I'm just, I just want to find something to shoot with a gun, okay? But this is not going to end the video. i got to think about what I'm doing next, even in the video as it is anyway. I think we're going to start pissing the Legion off, to be fair. Like, I don't really care about the Legion and their soft-ass opinions. There's Black Mountain up there. So if we kind of go more this way, 
I mean, I would like to kill something with the gun too. We could just shoot the gun off, but we only get the one charge per day. Um, so I'd very much like to shoot something with it. It could be a death claw. You can't use this weapon in vats, can you? Can you vat somebody with it? I haven't, I haven't used it in a long time. Now it looks obviously very harmless. It just looks like a little, you know. Even as you got. Now if we go up this way, there should be something killed. There might be some powder gangers or something, which would be like the funniest thing to just, you know, actually just waste with this fucking thing. But we'll do the things. There's a lot. Oh my god, I'm just like overwhelmed now with my brain about quests. But yeah, I guess we could start pissing the legion off. Right? Not too worried about it. We could get all debooted. And go save those captives and then and just say fuck it, kill the Legion. Legion's bad guys, okay? Like like my daughter's watching these videos. She watches this she's not caught not even close to quite caught up on this, any of this stuff. But she does watch these videos and she like very much judges me when I she does what I what she would consider evil behavior. I killed that crazy cow the other day. Well, like a mini part to go for y'all, but like killed the crazy cow. But I was like I saved the mole rats, that was the thing. And there's powder gangers here generally, right? No? Not today. Just a little building here. I think if I remember right, Junction 15 Railway Station. This has um, nothing of importance. Never mind. I thought that we could actually go into this location. Um, just some bottle caps. I thought there was a there's Hydra too, which is a drug. Uh, I thought there was, if I remember right, a star bottle cap here, but there might not be. We do have to do that too, um, at some point. We'll get to all the things. Look how fucking fast I am crouch walking, overpowered. There's a death claw. There's another death claw. You can't actually bounce with this. Um, lots of death claws. That didn't even hit it that hard. It is a cool gun, though. That was my one shot for the day. It did freak the death claws the fuck out, but. Um, excuse me, sir? I'm gonna die, probably. I don't know why my pit boy loaded up. I didn't even do that. Let's pop some stimpacks. Get some healing on the go. I don't know. I keep hitting the pit boy button because I'm terrified. Um, so we got all the stimpacks for. Please just die. Okay. We went all the way out of our way to get a weapon that didn't even kill a death cloud when he hit it. We broke the fuck out of our limbs. Uh-huh. You have sarsaparilla to drink? Just get some... We could drink the ice-cold Nuka-Cola, too. Why not? I don't really... I'm not really caring about keeping these things around, right? Like... A purified water to drink? Sure. Why not? This is sarsaparilla. Just make some inventory space by eating all the food and drinking all the drinks. Anything else you want to eat? K fungus in us to get those rads down. We'll just let the healing come back. I don't think that last death cloud was coming for us. Death clouds are nasty in this game. Um, on some real shit. That's why I went this way to try to kill a death cloud with the fucking goddamn weapon. We to charge up with the power of the sun, and now I mean, if we wait, I believe so I can show this off here. If we wait 24 hours in game time, we will get another charge. I'm, I mean, I kind of missed the death claw. It kind of moved. It's it's a, it's not a great weapon by any means. It's a fun thing to have and to say that you did do it, but like it's not actually very good. <laughs> and instead of anybody getting the juice, we get a weapon. Uh, that's just you know that's the way I'm gonna let it stand. That's the way we're doing the things. Um, and we'll start pissing the, the legion off here in a little bit. Um, so I think we should have another sea finder charge, right? No, not yet. It's weight of 15. It's a 15 fucking pound gun. It is technically an energy weapon, though. Um, but we don't have another charge yet. That's alright. Just gonna just gonna let that shit go. We showed off the weapon. It was cool looking while we did it, regardless. We're gonna pick up whatever the fuck this fast travel point is. Fucking dust claws, man. About killed us. That's why I'm not doing the Red Lucy quest yet, because obviously that ends that way. I mean, Cazadors and stuff, too. We can't get poisoned, though, so I'm not really too concerned about the Cazadors as much as dust claws. Dust claws are nasty. Um, are, we, are we just doing the fire gecko thing, huh? Fuck the fire gecko. Might be just as bad as death dog, to be fair. We are dealing with the high level shit now, though. Like, I mean, fire geckos are kind of in this area anyway, but. I dismember you. 600 out of 1,000 limbs dismembered. That's kind of nuts. 
Five geckos are dead, though. We have at least done that. What is this location? The hunter's farm? I don't remember anything about this. Hey, a lad's life. That's something. I guess we'll go in here. Like, <laughs> just I'm just doing things now, man. Uh, some books. Hello. Bottle caps. There's a star bottle cap. I knew it. I knew there would be a star bottle. Is that two? Uh, did I get two sunset steel sarsaparilla star bottle caps? It's hard to say. My brain is so dumb. Twenty-eight. Yeah, we're only need two more of those. That's kind of nuts. I mean, maybe we could do that real quick. I, I didn't realize there's so many here. This is kind of like a hella goaded location. Powder ganger here. I guess the powder gangers in the area did die. Like, they're normally over that building over there, but they must have got aggroed by the fire geckos. That's the, like, the coolness about stuff like Fallen New Vegas. Or the RPGs that do a really good job of this, too. Um, but, like, they really let the things happen. I mean, obviously, there's some ways to wander. We showed off even, like, in the very beginning how geckos can't do anything when you, when you move too much. I'm going to figure out where two more Sunset Sesperilla Star bottle caps are, and we'll do that quest today, maybe. You know, why not? I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, I have looked it up. I know, cheating. Um, but we're gonna go to the Bitter Springs Recreation Area. I don't think I grabbed the two here. There's two here, we could just get this done in one shot. Um, there was Kazadors in this area. Let's just not worry about that. So this is in the office on the sideboard with the bottles. Okay, so one of these buildings is apparently considered an office. Uh, okay, these are all just trailers, Doc. Um, on the office. What the fuck? I don't, you know. That's how much stuff is in this game that I haven't even, like, done all the things with it. It's one of these buildings is an office, huh? That's what you're trying to sell me on? These are all those trailers. Is this the office? No, it's gotta be in the, it's gotta be the building. Duh. 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 duh right? It's gotta be the actual building. I didn't realize there was a building here you could go into. Like I said, learn new things about Fallen New Vegas all the time. Rats. I'm not super concerned about rats. I mean, I could be in danger. You can't really get me. I mean, like, just like real life, if you ever deal with rats, just jump up on something high. They can't really get you. I suppose it's a savior. That's cool. I mean, Legend of the Star is a quest that I have not done on this, this, um, on the Xbox 360. I've done it on the, the PC version of the game before. But my PC version of the game won't even load up anymore. Because I have an AMD graphics card, and that shit doesn't work. You can look it up. You can Google that shit. <laughs> like, AMD graphics card. Right? Like, um, load up page. Okay. So, it's on the sideboard with the bottles. That's what we're looking for here. The bottle. I mean, obviously, next to all the... So, there's one there. I mean, regular bottle caps, too. And then... It says two. Uh, it's just, it's just a one? It says there was two here! That says there was two here. A tumbler today. I mean, like, there's, this game does still do a pretty good job. I mean, obviously we don't need tumblers today. What is that, like, lockpicking magazine? If I remember right? That's Locksmith's Readers. What's the tumblers today? It's a book. It's locksmithing book, right? Like, yeah. Lockpick increased by three. Don't really need it. We popped the book anyway. I suppose we could have sold it instead. There's only one star bottle cap here, I think. Did we get two? Did I, like, triple nuts on that? And, like... Oh, do I have 30? Okay, I have 30. Legend of the Star. Let's go. Let's go. Never done Legend of the Star before. We can mark that as a quest. Some, just another thing to get off the thing. Sunset Sarsaparilla Bottle Facility. This is cool. This is actually real cool. I actually... I mean, like I said, never done this on the Xbox 360 version of the game. I mean, we're on the Series X, but, like... Never done it like this before. The loudest fucking banging noises ever heard. Hello, Festus. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the headquarters of the Sunset Sarsaparilla Company. Rang the local stool and listen to old Festus jaw while. If you and old Festus are old pals. Yeah, I have more. Uh, star bottle. Looks like you got a fair number of stars in your saddlebags. You're still a few cards short of a hand, though. Nah, I did. I did all of them. 30. 30? Motherfucker? Is it more than 30? Howdy, partner. I, I... It looks like you got a... I, I have enough? 30 is enough? Is it not 30? I was pretty sure it was 30. Is it more than fucking 30? 
<laughs> I'm gonna I'm like Legend of the Star. What is it? Thirty-five or something? What I thought it was. I always thought it was thirty. Like so. Is that am I wrong? Am I dumb? How many do you need? It's probably gonna be like something stupid, like fifty. How many bottle caps do you need? How many bottle caps do you need? Fifty. Okay, never mind. We're not doing Legend of the Star today. Fuck off, fucking fifty. Never mind. Okay, never mind. We're just not doing that. We'll go do booted. We'll start pissing the Legion off a little bit. Fucking fastest. Thirty's a lot. I thought we were like in a spot where we we're like right there. We're not right there. All right. So, uh, what's his name? I don't remember. The Powder Ganger in uh, Nipton here, who's got his legs crippled, told us about. His, some of his Powder Ganger buddies were kidnapped by Legion. Now, I don't necessarily have any allegiance to the Powder Gangers at all, but really, I'm just going to kick off pissing the fucking Legion off, right? Like, which is, you know, it's his own thing. I'm not worried about the fucking Legion. Deathclaw is scary. Legion kind of made a little bitch. I guess there's something we could do. Ah, man, that's tough, dude. I'm thinking about it. Maybe I don't want to do this because, like, one thing I don't want the Legion pissed off for. There's like some quests we could do. I mean, we're going to lock ourselves out of some things regardless. Think about itself. I mean, we could do other things. I mean, we could do other things, right? Like, we could go start the King's Quest. Yeah, let's just do that, I guess. I'm like, I'm, I'm nervous a little bit about pissing the Legion off, right? Like, fucking. We can go talk to Mr. House. Like, we haven't even talked to him yet. That's a pretty basic ass quest to get that started. But that's gonna pop up. I don't know, I'm gonna, I mean, like, see, this is, I need, this is why I need to plan better, you guys. I apologize for being a dumb piece of shit and not planning. <laughs> well, but it's okay. I'm alright. We'll go to the King's Quest or something. Maybe. Or various other quests here. I mean, obviously, we were asked to recruit people um, for Wang Dang and Tomic Tango. We can do that here while we're here, too. We could get some free side quests, we could do some miscellaneous little things for them and stuff too. I thought we were going to Legend of the Star today. I thought it was 30. Oh, you guys really? I think that's a good idea. I mean, they're literally making massive death noises of badness. You guys just get to die. Um, we can help out Julie Farkas a little bit still. I believe she has some things she needs us to do. Um, a lot of walking though. We could talk to the kings, we could start that, maybe. I mean, it is getting to be nighttime. It's supposed to be enemies are nearby? Who's nearby? Is there more bad dudes? Did you? Hello? Was there a third dude there that I didn't get? I mean, there's a vagrant sitting there. I, are we good? Are we good now? We're good. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I thought we got them. Well, we're gonna wait till daytime because it makes it just a lot easier to find people during the daytime schedules where they're sleeping. It's all kinds of weird ass shit. We'll start some stuff here today. Obviously, we did do that lucky old Sunday day, so it's not like I'm not like accomplished in, in completing some quests. Um, there's only like 300 XP though. We are, we are gonna get slow level up now. Like we are not that this. I mean, 30 is technically the max level in the base game. The 30 to 50 range is always slow as shit, unless you do the DLC. But we just kind of use the DLC to get to 30 really quick, which just made us super powerful and handle some of these other things. We're like, hello, arcade. We'll get to you eventually. The fuck, Julie Fark is at. Julie? Hello? Where's your guys' boss? I'm looking for the, the lady. Where's she right here? No, that's just a rather other random doctor, dude. Doctor Duke Julie. You have some stuff for me to do, right? I'm pretty sure she does. Let's wait like another hour just to make sure. Julie? Hello? Julie Farkas doesn't exist. She just sleeps in. It's supposed to be the lead follower doctor supposed to do her crap. No, she's just stuck on a box over here. Welcome. Things seem pretty rough here in Freeside. More than rough. It's a damn mess. Freeside townies are constantly picking fights with NCR civilians. Thugs and thieves are always looking for a victim, and the local families are just sitting back making caps on the mess. Freeside is in dire need, but no one has been man enough to step up. The followers can only do so much to stem the tide. Is there anything I can do to help? There is always something needing done. A few souls here in Freeside could be great assets to the community, if they'd kick their addictions. We need a regular supply of medicine organized, but the Crimson Caravan wants too many I already got you. Didn't I get you your medicine? Need. Lastly, 
Tensions between the townies and NCR tourists have been going downhill fast lately. A lot of innocent people will That's get That's part hurt of King's Quest. We're going to put all the things together. Um, you said something about helping addicts, though? Yes. Old Bill Ronte and Jacob Hoff. They're not going to kick their habits on their own. Tell me about Bill Ronte. Old Bill Ronte is an exceptionally skilled machinist. He could fix the problems we've been having with Freeside's water pump, if he sobered up. Okay, tell me about Jacob. The Garretts hooked Jacob on chems when he was working for them. Ironic, since he used to homebrew detox chems. He's a natural chemist. Where should I start looking? In Freeside, the drunks and drug addicts flock in and around the Atomic Wrangler. I'd start there. Alright, I'll see what I can do to help them. Sobering them up and putting them back to work would go a long way toward helping Freeside. Black there about something else. Um, I have some medical supplies to drop off. You can have all of my fixer. Uh, three fixer, sure. Thanks. You can have my medics. All three of those, sure. More fixer? One more fixer? To, uh, I don't want to donate right away. It looks like we've got enough medics for the moment. Okay. So, just getting free reputation with this faction. It's really, actually... Like, hard, I think, if I remember right, to get the followers of the apocalypse to maximum. Uh, did I ever tell you the Garrett should be sending over supplies shortly? I'm honestly pleasantly surprised they would help us out. But I can see the Garrett's aren't doing this out of the goodness of their hearts. Well, it looks like you've earned yourself a discount on supplies now that we'll be fully covered. This supply deal will aid our work immensely. It's not even part of the quest, but it does give you the followers of the fame and 270 XP. So it's like, you know, and free side fame and all this stuff. Okay, so let's go do high times. We're going to fix some drug addicts. We are now liked finally by the followers of Apocalypse. That's like, like I said, it's one of the hardest factions to to get to do that with. But we will help the, the high people not be high no more or not have want to do drugs anymore. Um, now, there's a couple things to do with this. We have, a, we have a lot of things to do. The free side is like so fucking jam packed full of quests, right? Like, and it's, but it's just a generally nasty place. How many more times do you think we're gonna get jumped while we're here? Like, that's the kind of the question. We'll do the king's quest. We could do Rex then, and Rex is fun, and Rex leads to other things. Am I getting jumped by you? You, hello, sir? I ch please stand down. Stop in the name of the law. He didn't stop. Okay, I tried. <laughs> All right, I told that man, don't do that. And then you know what he did? He went and did it anyway, okay? He's gonna hit me with that crowbar and it would not have felt good. So I decided that I had to put him down. That was a choice. Look at all these dead bodies. You guys all wanted to fuck with me like idiots, okay? Maybe don't be so stupid next time. Okay, a couple of drug addicts here. All right, well, two, one right here and then one in the other spot. This is Jacob Hoff, hello? You have chems, buddy? I could really use a fix. You should probably not do drugs. You look pretty bad, Jacob. You should probably stop using drugs. Why stop? I feel great. No worries. My guy will be here soon enough. Just wait. Who's supplying you? If I had two caps to scrape together, I'd buy the materials to make my own. Yeah, he's a chemist, right? So he can make his own drugs. Won't stop shaking. This guy named Dixon. Something about him seems sketchy, but I can't stop now. Last time I stopped, I felt like I was going to turn inside out. At this point, I'm mostly buying his stuff just so I don't feel sick. Speaking of which, do you have any spare caps? So... We've learned who his drug dealer is, which we could now take care of the drug dealer. There's multiple ways to handle this. Um, Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. So, I really like this. I saw, like, a, a video that was from the New Vegas developers, and they were talking about, like, one of the quest designers was talking about that every quest needed at least three ways to resolve it. I wish every RPG could, like, use that mentality to get through things. Um... Do you know anything about Bill or Jacob? Yeah, man. Those cats are out of their domes, addicted to my shit. They can't get enough. Pretty hilarious to watch. I need you to stop supplying Bill and Jacob. Really? Ah, oh, you're such a saint. I am. You know what? I might be willing to stop if there's something in it for me. Yeah, you're not. You're not gonna die. <laughs> but we could use speech. We could imply that the NCR, because Julie Farkas talked about this. The NCR comes through Freeside to go to New Vegas because it's a big, you know, that's where the NCR likes to be. The NCR likes to have, they have this own presence in New Vegas. But the Freeside citizens and the NCR don't really get along. Freeside is all about freedom. And there's, you know, drug dealers on the streets. People kind of, like, you get jumped all the time. It's kind of a nasty, crime-filled place. And the NCR is very much about order and stuff. And so those two sides conflict with each other. But if I imply here that the NCR is giving him chems to keep Freeside down, it's going to piss off the Freeside citizens. And they'll come and kill his ass for me. 
Wait, man. You can't go around saying shit like that. Okay, I get your point. You won't have to worry about me supplying those two anymore. Okay. Goodbye. But we could also take care of the drug dealer. That's the... I mean, he's got a special branded jet. He's got all kinds of drugs on him. Stim packs, right? That's, that's not bad. Took all his drugs. Now... Obviously, we convinced him already. We got the experience points for convincing him. Hey, yo, 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 don't sell to these two. But really, shouldn't we want him to not sell to anybody anymore? Drugs are bad. So you're back. Got any chems for me yet? Uh, I took care of the dealer. Now you can clean up. What? I need a fix now. I want to help you get well, Jacob. Fine. If you really care so much, then give me some shots of fixer to calm down these shakes. I'm going to need at least ten shots to get me through the week. From there, the followers... It's fucking very help. needy. Drugs to solve your drug problem. Um, so we could do science or speech. I find these interesting options. With science, like multiple options to figure out a request. But with science, we can tell them with certain other drugs, you could do it in one shot. Or with speech, we can just literally convince them, hey, yo, Jacob, be strong. You got this, homie. You just need the support of your friends to get through this. If you get, if you go back to the followers of the apocalypse, they'll help you. I think you're right. I've been through worse. I'll go to the fort and see if the followers can watch over me while I recover. Free side has accepted us because you're helping clean out, you know, people from drugs. It's good. One, one of them, not both yet. We get the other one, right? Where's Bill Ronte at? Where the fuck are we going? Way the fuck over here, huh? We'll do a little hop, skip, and jump. We'll see if we're running anything along the way. Like more people trying to jump us. That lair on our back. Like, look, we look like a, I mean, we're wearing Joshua Graham's armor, which probably people don't actually mostly have context to that. That's this makes me terrifying in that own way. We're wearing the, the first recon beret. Sorry, kids, dusted your dinner again, okay? I didn't mean to, I was just wanted to see. Can you try it? You wanna shoot the No, that guy is actually eating the dust. Never mind. Uh enjoy your dust for dinner, kid. God damn it. <laughs> what have I done? Come to Mick and Ralph's. Yes, go to Mick and Ralph's. They they got shopping needs, okay? Obviously, the king's right here. We can go talk to that. We're going to go that way and eventually. We we did need to recruit... 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 We need to recruit a suave talker. Suave's a hard word, so I, I became a quab in my head. Recru combine the two. Recruit suave. Requab. It's recruit a suave talker, which is over here. We'll go do that. And then we get to do a sex bot eventually. We'll get to all that too. A robot that's good at the nookie. Um, so that's a, that's a pullback reference. Um... The fuck did you go? He's like usually right here by the thing. Where the fuck? Am I getting jumped again? Can we not? The fuck all my NPCs go all the time. Like, <laughs> like, like usually right here, but not here, right? The swap. Oh, he's right here. He's hanging out by the fire. Hello, old Ben. Hello again. He used to be an I'm escort gonna... anyway, right? Um. So, like, you said escort, like armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Do you wanna... <laughs> oh, I could never do that. So you got paid for sex, is what you're saying. Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. So he doesn't even feel good about the fact that he did that. But, like, let's talk about something else. Would you like to work for the Garrett's and do that job that made you feel like shit again? I'm retired, but life has been a bit dull without some kind of action. What's the job? Jim Garrett needs a real boyfriend experience for more discerning patrons. Ah, I get you. So you think because of my past escort work, I'd be interested in that kind of thing. I got out of that work because it just made me feel empty inside. What makes you think I would ever go back to that degradation? With a speech of 50, you're a beacon of light in some people's depressing existence. Your work is art. Right? Just be proud of the work that you do, even if you're a man of work. You know what? You're right. I looked at the whole thing from the wrong angle. I suppose I could be a loving muse to some, while simply relieve stress and tension in others. Thanks for that insight. Tell Garrett I'd be happy to start at the Wrangler immediately. This should be a nice change of pace from retirement. So, Freeside fan game. We're helping out Freeside by um, making prostitutes exist there you go you go on old ben go work for the garrets um obviously we got to do the sex spot thing that's a tougher that's a tougher set of circumstances um 
and the kings. We have so many quests here, but it's a lot of walking. There's a lot of walking here, right? Like, and obviously there's that like fast travel or not fast travel, but like loading screen, loading zone between the two parts of Freeside. Um, which, if I remember right, I remember hearing something about like some of the developers saying they wish that they, that it was a technical limitation, right? It's the Xbox 360 thing. It wouldn't have Lasers, it been bigger. Pistol, Silver Rush. Grenade. I've been in Silver Rush in a minute. We'll, we'll go back to the Silver Rush. Maybe I got some cool energy weapons we could buy. You know, right? Like, I'm thinking about it. Plus, like, you know, I, I did kill Cass just for this bitch, so I might as well, you know, use it. Hello. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to buy some things. My favorite employee return. I'd like to see what you have for sale. That's it. I just want to buy some stuff. Um, we're keeping Annabelle. Um, I don't think we need Dr. Mobius' glove. Um, really. Um, but we'll keep it for now. Um, you don't need this heavy incinerator. That's not something we're using. They, you have, like, no caps for nothing. Um, but they do have cool laser weapon stuff, right? Like, that was the whole deal. Pass the defender. Sheath the stabilizer. Decrease the spread. Try beam laser rifle. The Smitty Special. The Scatling laser. The Sporal Wood 97... 9,700 recharger rifle. We could, you know, if you had them. You don't. Um, you, you don't even have, like, buy some ammo, some more ammo, <laughs> I mean, I guess, I bought a lot of ammo and it's still not even good enough, um, yeah, you could just take my money, I guess, or take my stuff, fucking goddamn, I shouldn't have kept them, I, I regret this decision, um, we got this nice laser rifle here, recharger rifle here, that's very cool. Did they restock? That's really no, not. No, I'm just looking at what you got here. I'm looking for a very particular thing. Okay? Uh, plasma caster is very cool. Laser RCW, we've already shown off, is very cool for our particular build and everything. There's this here plasma rifle here, though. Like that. Thanks. Just sneak it over here. Same thing we've done before. It's on the ground, but we can steal it. We do not even get bad karma for stealing that. Uh, we have Elijah's advanced layer here. We can throw the plasma rifle in there, kind of. Just, that's all I want. That's all I did here. But what I, now we're. I mean, this layer is slapping the fuck out of people. These little free side goons try to fucking come up and jump us, and then they get fucked. Um, but I do regret doing the silver rush. Okay, like a, you know. But it's interesting at least. Hello, Bill Ronte. Come on, man. I'm dying. Here. Uh, with a speech of fifty, Bill, Julie, and the rest of your friends miss you. They need your help. Oh, Julie, I really screwed things. You do up. have to feel bad. You get. I'll you head know. up to the fort and get some rest. This is going on too long. Freeside fame gained. We can go turn that quest in. And hopefully actually get some more followers of the Apocalypse fame. You know, fame. Like, <laughs> I'm just trying to build a reputation with some factions, man. Um, and we'll do the Kings. Probably not today. Um, maybe we'll do the Kings next time. So we could do Rex's quest as well. Um, I would like to do Arcade's quest. Obviously, Arcade is a follower of the Apocalypse and stuff too. But we can't. you can't actually do his quest until... You get to the end game section of the game. I'm trying to think about whether and you know, how I want to do that. That's tough, man. Cause I, oh man, there's like a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I want to do. I, mean, I gotta come up with a better plan. We did this today. We did that lucky old son, and we did high times. That's two quests we did. Plus we shot the big cool gun. Great to see you again. Yeah, great to see you too. I helped with the addiction problem you mentioned. I saw them. Thank you so much for helping them. This means a lot to the followers of the apocalypse. You have our thanks. If you need some medical supplies, come see me. With Jacob working with us, we should be able to spare a stim or fixer once a day. So, we could obviously get free medical supplies now. We gain some followers of the Apocalypse Fame. We get a little bit of XP. I mean, it's not really a little bit. It's 450, which is a lot. But it's just like... If I wanted to calm things down in Freeside, where would I start? The big man around here is the king. Not much happens in Freeside that he doesn't know about. He has the most influence locally. And some of his crew haven't helped the situation by harassing NCR citizens and charging double for water. Some NCR soldiers have been bringing in supplies, but none of it is going to Freeside locals. I've tried to speak to both sides to no avail. Okay. So, I mean, I guess all we all we have left to do is. I don't know. How, do we buy? Do you sell medical supplies? I'd like to buy medical supplies. It's two different options. Um. You could you can donate things and that's it, right? To fix it, there you go. Trying to get some more experience and more rep, uh, right? Like just a little bit. Um, there's no more quests here, I think, as far as I'm aware of. So we gotta go talk to the king. We'll probably do that next time. It's a fun quest. It's a lot of walking though. It's we're in the walking stage of the game. 
Um, not that the combat is really hyper engaging unless we were, were to fight something like Death Claws. It's been a good episode though. Did that lucky old son, did high times, figuring out free side things. I'm going to come up with a better plan um, for the next episode. Um, this has been a decently long one though. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did, I, as always, leave that like ring down below. Let me know that you're enjoying the series, you want to see more episodes of it. I'm having a lot of fun playing New Vegas still. I just got to come up with good plans. Um, yeah, leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. How do you handle the high times quest? Do you normally do that quest? Do you work with the followers of the apocalypse? How do you? Who do you send power to in in the lucky old sun quest? If you even do that quest, right? Let me know it in the comment section down below. If you guys are new to my channel and somehow you got to this point in the video, you watched the whole and follow New Vegas for me for me, and you hadn't been subscribed, subscribe. That way you can check out the rest of the series that I make. I do put a lot of effort in these videos, and I I appreciate all you guys' support. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Order to me, be, and I will see you in the next episode.